Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 4, Hypertext Preprocessor, shortly called as PHP. Content is web development concept. What is client-side scripting? What is server-side scripting? What is PHP syntax? So what is a web development concept? A web development concept describes in detail about website development and hosting through network that is internet or intranet. So web development concept describes the development of website. What is a website? It's a collection of web page. A web page can be created by any scripting language. One of the best examples is HTML. The process of development also includes web content generation, web page designing, website security, and so on. So when we create a web page, we must be concerned about what is the content, how the page is designed, how the security is, whether the content in this page is secured or not. You can see the HTTPS, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, secured. So when you enter a website, if it is followed with HTTPS, then it is a secured site. If the S is not present, it is not a secured website. Moreover, you can see a lock symbol also in the browser URL. Website or web page is developed by the programmer using PHP script. So a website, that is the collection of web page can be developed using the PHP scripting language. Finally, the entire website codes are moved to a web server path in a remote server machine. This is not done in your syllabus because we are, we are using a exam server, web server, which is present in your own system itself because we are not doing a real-time project. So we, we are using the exam server, which is in your own system and it is worked. Uh, finally, it can be done. That is a big process. So you can see a um, client, that is the browsers. Mozilla, Chrome, Opera, Internet Explorer. Then the server side, when the person is requesting a content uh, through the uh, through our web server example, here yeah, that is Apache, and that content is done through the PHP programming, and it it will fetch the detail which is in MySQL, and it will retrain the ret drive the details and again it is given to the browser. That means simply when you enter your username and password, it is checked with your Google server. If your username and password is correct, it will open your inbox. If it is wrong, it will say the um, messages whether your password is wrong, whether your email address is wrong, like that. So, a web scripting language was introduced to support the internet online business. The web scripting languages are classified into two types, client-side and server-side. So, what is client-side? What is server-side? What is the difference? It is the program that runs on the client machine and deals with the user interface, display, or any other processing that can be happen on a client machine like reading, writing, cookies. Don't get a t. Uh, don't get confused with these sentence. Simply, the program that is written by you using the HTML. When you ask, right, uh, enter your username or just a, take the example. When you enter into the Gmail uh, Gmail inbox, first the, it will ask the username and password. That screen is the client side. If a program is written to form that screen, that is said to be client-side program. Interact with the temporary storage. Make interactive web pages. Interact with local storage. Sending requests for data to server. 
work as an interface between the server and the user. Yes, it is the interface because when you give the username and password in that page, the request is taken to the web server. In the database, it will check with the information of your username and password. So, a JavaScript, VB script, HTML, CSS, Ajax, these are scripting languages which can be done effectively to form the client side programming. Then what is server side? It is the program that runs on server dealing with the generation of content of web page, querying the database that you learnt in the SQL server, how to write a query, how to create a table, how to uh, retrieve the data that is select star from table name, operations over database, access write a file on the server, interact with other servers, process. For example, if user input is a text in the search box, run a search algorithm on the data stored on the server and send the result. If take the Google Forms uh, in your Google website, in the Google search engine, if you simply type TN 12th standard web router application, then if you press the enter button, you will get many results. So, that is the process. That means if the user input is a text, TN computer application is the text. Then you are typing that in the search box. Run the search and get them. When you press the search button, you don't know what is happening, but it, some codings are executing the text and searching the uh, content which is stored in the Google server and giving the displays on the screen. So this uh, coding which is directly communicating with the server database is said to be server-side coding or server-side scripting language. What are the server-side scripting language available or PHP, C++, JSP, Python, Ruby on Rails. These are many um, used server-side scripting language. Among this, you are going to learn PHP. Now, we'll enter with PHP. What are the three types of PHP syntax are available? That means how to write the program. There are three syntax. One is default short open tags. Another one is HTML script embedded tags. We'll see with the example. Starting with a less than arrow question mark followed by the word PHP and ending with Question mark semicolon. These are opening tag and the closing tag. When it starts with a question mark PHP and ends with question mark uh, greater than, this is to be default syntax. Short open tag means uh, less than question mark, question mark greater than symbol, but there won't be any PHP in the starting tag for this. In the configuration, php.ini file should be on the server side. I'll explain. Now, HTML script ember tag means here the coding is separately stored in a file with the extension of .php. Script language, do you remember script language in JavaScript? Here you will write as JavaScript. Here you can write as PHP. So these are the syntax we can use to write a PHP program. How to write a PHP program? First, you have to start the exam server. Start the Apache and MySQL. Then you take a notepad. In the notepad, you start with less than greater than arrow, that means less than symbol. Just will increase the font size, that then only it will be very visible for you clearly. Less than question mark PHP. Then it must be end with question mark greater than symbol just like your HTML tag. Remember, open tag, close tag must be there, right? Like the HTML in PHP also, you have to start like this. 
echo is just like the document dot write in your javascript to display a content on the screen echo function is used how to save this is very important listen carefully you have to take local drive c in the drive you have to search exam in the exam it's important you have to say in hd docs hd documents it's important because it is the default drive if you didn't save in this particular location you cannot execute so inside that you give a file name followed by dot php extension that is important then here you select all files it's okay after saving the file the file name will appear in the title bar first we have to start the exam server then we have to type the content in a notepad then we have to save in the particular location that is important then open the browser in the browser type http localhost slash followed by the file name our file name is first program dot prg so first prg dot php extension then press enter can you see the word display in that uh, welcome is displayed on the screen so echo welcome echo means print which should be print which is inside the function welcome so we'll add something welcome to php programming after making changes in the program just to save the file again it is important you have to save after changing then you take the browser now already the path is here just click refresh button you will see the changes welcome to php programming that's all it's very easy to work with php this is the procedure to work php program kindly stop the server and close it it is a good practice Thank you for watching this video. If you like if you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.